Last week, the world's most expensive drug therapy got the go-ahead and recommendation for use within the NHS. Forgive me one moment so I get the name right. Atidarsagine Autotemcel, more easily known by its market name, Libmeldi. This is a revolutionary new gene therapy which is used to treat a condition called metachromatic leukodystrophy, or MLD for short, developed by a company called Orchard Therapeutics. Now this is quite something and a really interesting topic for discussion because a course of Libmeldi costs an absolutely eye-watering 2.8 million pounds. Now the NHS has reportedly reached a confidential discount with the manufacturer so that the treatment can be provided for NHS patients, but even if we assumed a hefty discount of even something as radical as 50%, that is still a mind-boggling amount of money. So what is MLD? Well, MLD is a rare hereditary disorder that is caused by the lack or non-function of an enzyme called aryl sulfatase A. Any biochemists or drug development scientists out there, please forgive my butchering of that enzyme name. The normal function of this enzyme is to metabolize compounds called sulfatides. And what these sulfatides end up doing if they're not broken down by this enzyme is destroying the myelin sheath that sits around the outside of our neurons or our nerve cells, which drastically reduces their ability to send signals between the brain, spine, and the rest of our bodies. How does this actually manifest itself in the real world? Well, what we see is children who have difficulty walking, speaking, swallowing, experiencing other developmental delays, progressively potentially losing their vision, as well as exhibiting signs of dementia. Because MLD is what we call an autosomal recessive condition, the likelihood or not of conceiving a child who's going to suffer with MLD is dependent on one of the parents or both carrying the appropriate gene. For example, if both parents carry the gene that causes the defective form of this RL sulfatase A enzyme, there is a 25% chance that any child they have will be born with MLD. If just one parent is a carrier of the gene and the other parent doesn't have any defective copies of the gene, then there is no chance that their child can develop MLD, although there is a 50% chance that any of the children they have could become a carrier themselves. Screening of newborn babies for MLD is absolutely not a universal test. And this is made more complicated by the fact that about 7-15% to 15 of the population are actually pseudo-deficient in this enzyme anyway. And this actually makes it a very difficult condition to screen for, as you might imagine. With all that said, however, the incidence, that is the rate at which it happens, of MLD worldwide is thought to be between 1 in 40,000 and 1 in 160,000. So thankfully it is considered a rare condition. And LibMLD is also interesting for another reason, because it's what's called an orphan drug. That is, it treats a condition that is so rare that under normal circumstances, it would never be financially viable for a company to research and market this drug, because your customer base, that is the group of patients that actually need this type of drug, is so low that it would never become a viable product. And it was rejected by NICE originally and so wouldn't have been allowed for use under the NHS. But now after this discount has been negotiated, it has received approval. This drug will be delivered through St. Mary's Hospital in Manchester through their genomic centre, making it one of only five sites in Europe which is licensed to offer the treatment. And I really, really hope that it delivers on bringing these kids some measurable improvement in their quality of life. The thing that I want to leave you with, however, is thinking about how we ethically justify these hyper-expensive treatments. It's difficult to give ballpark figures, but imagine something like a liver transplant, which is itself a very expensive and complicated procedure, might cost the NHS in the region of 12 to 15,000 pounds. But when we're getting into the realms of gene therapies, these very new radical treatments, the sky is the limit. Basically, when it comes to cost, there is a similar therapy called Zolgensma, which is used to treat spinal muscular atrophy. Similarly, that will run you £1.7 million for a course of treatment. So especially if you're interested in healthcare ethics or maybe applying to medical school, PA school, nursing school yourselves, have a think about how these types of very expensive treatments that will only ultimately affect one person, biologically speaking at least, can be justified because it's a really, really complicated and interesting debate to get into. So thanks very much for watching guys, please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe, and you can support me using the Ko-Fi link in the video description if you so desire. Take care and I'll see you next time.